Understanding, that's ear splitting, a guide to loud expressions in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's loud and clear in its meaning, yet might confuse non-native speakers. That's ear splitting. If you've ever encountered a noise so loud it felt like your ears could split, you're on the right track to understanding this expression. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and origins together, making your English learning journey a bit smoother. That's ear splitting is an idiomatic expression used to describe a sound that is extremely loud and usually unpleasant. The phrase paints a vivid picture, suggesting a noise so intense it could literally split your ears. It's important to note that this expression is most often used to convey a negative reaction to the loudness of sounds, such as alarms, screams, or machinery. To better understand how that's ear splitting is used in context, let's look at a few examples. One, during a concert, the band's speakers were turned up so high, it was ear splitting. I had to step outside for a moment. Two, in an urban setting, living near the airport means dealing with ear splitting noise from airplanes all day long. Three, describing a tool or appliance, I can't stand using that old vacuum cleaner. It's absolutely ear-splitting. These examples showcase different scenarios where the phrase might be applied, highlighting its versatility in describing various loud sounds. The phrase, that's ear-splitting, comes from the literal idea of a sound being so loud it could split the ears. While it's a metaphorical expression, it effectively communicates the severity and discomfort caused by certain noises. The use of vivid and sometimes exaggerated language is a common feature in English to express strong feelings or reactions. When using, that's ear splitting. Keep in mind it should be reserved for situations involving very loud, often jarring noises. It's not suitable for everyday sounds or noises that are merely annoying. Here are a few tips. Use it to express displeasure or discomfort caused by loud sounds. Combine it with descriptions of your physical or emotional reaction to enhance the impact of your statement, such as, the ear-splitting alarm gave me a headache. Avoid using it in formal writing or situations. It's best suited for informal contexts or personal conversations. We hope this exploration of, that's ear splitting, helps you understand and use this expression confidently in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about embracing its nuances and expressions, and you're doing great by expanding your idiomatic vocabulary. Happy learning, and we look forward to sharing more insights with you in our next video.